Hello there. I'd like to share some simple techniques and basic techniques uh, for using the B-Love Sacred Sound Professional Flumes on your gongs. Um, the essence, the key thing is, is being really gentle, being really soft and gentle. So I always advise, never hold a f your flumey down here, always at the top. If you just let it rest on that top finger there, Bring your thumb over, very, very gentle, and you touch the surface of your gong. Slow and consistent movements. I'm not trying. And again. Not much effort is required almost softly caressing the gong. I can feel a vibration between my finger and my thumb and my awareness is on this been very soft and gentle and the movements are fluid and curved and I, I take the flumey off at the end of the stroke. Whatever the direction of the flumey, the, the tail of the flumey leads. This is a, an introduction to using a larger flumey on your gong. This is an eight centimeter. There are a number of ways to play, but let's start at the beginning. Again, let the, the flumey drop onto your top finger and bring your thumb over. And that's the position that you hold the flumey in. For, for anything over seven centimeters, even six and a half, sometimes, I use my less dominant hand just to hold the shaft. So we can start at the top and come down. My thumb is just resting on the ball. I'm not trying to make the sound, but the sound just comes. Sometimes it's better to make a sweeping movement over the top or the bottom. If you can, try and keep the, the shaft perpendicular. This is our largest flumey ball in the range. It's a 10 centimeter. It's a little bit old, it's my own personal one. But again, the movements are, uh, are the same. This, this hand is just holding the shaft in position and I'm applying a little pressure with my thumb and I'm just moving across the gong surface, feeling the vibration and then it comes. Nice and gentle, no rush for the sound, allowing the sound to come
These balls have a, a press fit, they have a friction fit. The ball should never come off the shaft. If it, if it does, it means it's been knocked off or much too much pressure has been applied. Very, very gentle. 